Hey, what's going on, guys? G Man here, and I, I told you guys, Friday, Doki Doki's coming out. Now, um, I don't know how many videos I could do, because now, apparently, I have to go to Sword Practice today, and that's not going to be fun. But anyway, so while we can, let's get in it, shall we? Let's, last time we continued off, and sorry for the static, I tried, and I really can't do anything about it. So last time, we got in enough students to kind of make her feel so good. So that made me feel like a good person inside. So anyway, let's get going, shall we? We're gonna share our poem with... Should we share it with Nasuki? Why not? It's gonna be our regular routine. Uh oh, she reached my poem. She keeps glancing at me, then back up the poem. But now she must have read it more than once. Or... Oh, she doesn't like it? Come on. No, no, it's not. <gasps> oh, she doesn't like it. It's good. Really good, okay? There, I said it. Whew! She had me scared there. I thought she didn't like it. Ugh, this wasn't supposed to happen at all. I could you just be bad at this. I was supposed to impress you, not the other way around. You're trying to impress me? Well, obviously. You think I let you enjoy your ears right any more than mine? Give me a break. Well, in that case, it's the problem me. me trying to impress you. I'll tell you, you. Uh, I shook his face freeze. It's like she just realized something. You? You're trying to impress me? The Suki freezes scans her eyes over my poem one more time. Then the poem slips out her hands and floats on the floor. I have to use the bathroom. Red face. The Suki quickly walks up to the room. Hey Gary. Did you do something with Suki? I just saw her rush out like that. You didn't do anything terrible, did you? Hey, no! What? what? I just told her that. The voice is caught in my throat. It's not like they tell Monica that I'm trying to impress the Suki. Hmm? Monica just sits on line and the swiftly picks it up. She reads it though, her smile not fading from her face. I see. You wrote this for Nasuki, didn't you? I mean, not really. In fact, did she like your poem a lot the other day too? Um, so what? Uh, I just already know her taste so well already. Are you, not, are you sure not cheating, Gary? Cheating? What should I mean by that? How, how could I be cheating? You know, what you call it? Cheating? I'm gonna be cheating in a dating zone. Or wanna be dating zone. Uh, I do not know if that's possible. Cheating? What do you mean by that? Never mind. I'm just kidding. <laughs> I don't understand Monica's joke at all. Same here. <clears throat> anyway, how do you think how sick he feels about you? Oh, you don't need to answer that. It was just something for you to think about. Hey! I see comes up and snatches the phones out of my hand. Neither of us have noticed her in the end of the classroom. Did you read this, Monica? Of course, I liked it. Mm -hmm. you, should really, you should really start reading things aren't for you, you know? I have a bad habit of doing that. Hmm? But Gary wrote this one. And we're supposed to share it with everyone, right? Hmm? I see these face freezes. She appears to forgot that my poem is terrible for everyone to read. Oh well, I can... Okay, well, I think Gary's done sharing this poem with everyone. It's not like anyone will want to read this anyway. In fact, I'm just gonna hold on to this. If you insist. What? Why are you looking at me like that? Like what? Hmm? Never mind. Ah, uh, Misuki. If you're the poem, that's not afraid to say her. She hasn't gotten to read it yet. So what? Well, I guess Gary's written to It's not fair that you don't want everyone to finish reading it. Fine. Suki returns my poem. It's not like she's gonna like it, though. Anyway, read my poem now. Ah, and no, I won't let you keep it. It's my only cup. Amy likes spiders. You know what I heard by Amy? Amy likes spiders. Icky, wiggly, hairy, ugly spiders. That's why I'm not friends with her. Amy has a cute singing voice. I heard her singing her like, favorite song. Love song. Every time she sang the chorus, my heart would pound the room of the words. She likes spiders. That's... Blah, blah, blah. She likes spiders. That's why I'm not friends with her. One time, I heard my leg really bad. Amy took me, helped me, and took me to the nurse. I try not to let her touch me. She likes spiders, so that's why I, so her hands are probably gross. That's why I'm not friends with her. Amy has a lot of friends. I always see her talking to people. She probably talks about spiders. What if her friends start talking about spiders, too? That's why I'm not friends with her. Doesn't matter if she has other hobbies. Doesn't matter if she keeps it private. It doesn't matter if it hurts her. It's gross. She's gross. The world's better off with spiders. And I'm gonna tell her. Oh, so she's judging a person off of one quality? Not bad, right? It's quite a bit longer than this is. This is way too short. I was just warming up. Hope you didn't think that was the best I could do. No, of course not. Anyway, the message is pretty straightforward in this one. Yeah, I don't have to explain it. Sometimes you can explain the complicated issues in simple text. True? And it helps people realize how stupid they're being. Like, anyone who agreed with this subject with the poem is an ignorant jerk. Hmm. You know people like that? 
Of course, it's about what everyone thinks of my... It doesn't matter. It could be about anything. I want it to be easy to relate to. Maybe when I sit for a weird hobby of guilty pleasure. Sometimes you're afraid that people, if people find out they make fun of you. That should make the people stupid. Who cares like someone like, as long as it's not hurting anyone, it makes them happy. I think people really need to learn to respect others for liking weird things. Well, you're definitely right. <laughs> At least I can relate to that. I'm sure a lot of people can too. You know what? I'm glad you can appreciate that kind of writing. This kind of writing. I mean, I know I was talking about that yesterday. But I've been, well, enjoying sharing my writing with you, so... So consider yourself lucky, okay? <laughs> well, thanks for being honest. What's that supposed to mean? I'm always honest. Jeez. Let's look forward to tomorrow, okay? Alright, I will. Oh, kill two birds with one stone. Um, let's talk to you. You know, she probably doesn't want to talk to me. Um, are you still mad at me? Yeah? For disrespecting the suki yesterday. Because <laughs> reading this poem, now I know why you got mad at me. Because you, you for her running over mine. That's not really true. I mean, when I disrespect her, I disrespected you too, didn't I? Oh no. Yuri, I might be reading this a little too much. I gotta be so stupid. I wish these things happen. Whenever I think before I speak, I just come out just awkward and unlikely. Where I speak without thinking, do you, the things I want to keep inside of me come out and people hate me. So please, don't force yourself to be around me. I know this is what Monica wants, but it's not fair to you when you can be doing your time with the Suki and Sayuri. Yuri, please. It makes it easier for me if you don't express any concern. Besides, I have my books with me. That's all I need. Yuri smiles sadly and puts her head down on her desk. Oh, I'm frustrated. I don't hate her, but she's really not capable of listening to me when I come over her own thoughts. I say to myself, all I can do is just accept that's how she is. If she wants to be like the one, I have no choice but abide to that request. Talk to my girl Sayori. Ooh, I like this one, game. That's some nice feeling into it. I'm glad. Does that mean it's better than yesterday's? Hmm, let me think. I don't know. I guess I like them both. <laughs> That's not very helpful, you know. Well, I'm not really good at figuring out poems are good or bad. That's why I go by my heart. I give a discussion. Okay. Just my heart. If it makes me feel if it makes me feel things, then it must be a good poem. I'm not sure that's exactly how it works. Then again, I'm guessing conveying feelings is a pretty important part of this whole thing. Yeah, maybe. Honestly, I don't even know what kind of writing you're like. What kind of writing you like in the first place? Yeah, me neither. Huh. Why don't you at least try giving me some thought? Aw, you, you want to write something for me? That's so sweet. Yeah, right. But you're always thinking about other people. You need to think more about yourself once in a while. If you don't, you might get out of yourself hurt. Hmm? Well, I don't know what you really mean, but I'll keep that in mind. Well, whatever. Anyway, let's see. Hmm. I guess I like happy moments. Wait, sometimes it looks sad points too. This is a little bit of both. You're worth that, right? That's the word I'm looking for. Bittersweet. Yeah. I like things that are happy and things that are sad. Happy and sad? I can't see you liking something sad, so. Well, I like the happy the most. Sometimes when you have a little rain cloud in your head. So I don't know what happened there. A sad poem can give the rain cloud a little hug. And that makes a nice little happy rain cloud. Sorry, it's unexpectedly quiet. Hmm? Is it? Maybe I'm getting better at expressing my feelings after all. Thanks, Harry. I should go write that down then. You can read my poem out, okay? Bottles. I pop my scalp. God, I don't know. Oh, hair. Yeah. I pop off my scalp like the thing. Like the lid of a. Yeah, disgusting. Like the lid of a cookie jar. It's a secret place where I keep all my dreams. Little balls of sunshine, all rubbing together like bundles of kittens. I reach inside with my thumb and forefinger and pluck one out. It's warm and tingly. This will turn the waste. I put the bottle back and keep it safe. Why does it do that? And I put the bottle on the shelf with all the other bottles. Happy thoughts, happy thoughts, happy thoughts. In bottles, all in a row. My collection makes me with lots of friends. Each bottle is a starlight to make amends. Sometimes a friend feels a certain way. Down comes a bottle to save the day. Night and night, more dreams. Friend with the friend, more bottles. Deeper and deeper, my fingers go. Like it's swimming in a dark cave, discovering the secrets hidden in the nooks and crannies. Digging and digging, digging and digging, scraping and scraping. I blow off dust. I blow dust off my bottle cups. It doesn't feel like time elapsed. My empty shelf could use some more. My friends look through my lock front door. 
Finally all done, I open up and in come all my friends. They come in in such a hurry. Do they want my bottles that much? I find they can pull them from shelf one after another, holding them out there, each and every friend, each and every bottle. Every time I let one go, it shudders against the top of my feet. Happy thoughts, happy thoughts, happy thoughts, and shards all over the floor. They're supposed to be my friends. My friends aren't smiling. They're all shouting, pleading, something. Well, I hear echo, 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 echo inside my head. Holy crap. Sarah, did you really write this? Of course I did. Didn't I tell you I was going to write the best poem ever? Yeah, but, I mean, I did expect something like this coming from you. You're going to tell me a whole lot. I've been really in touch with my feelings lately. I see that. It's almost kind of creepy. Creepy? Well, not exactly. Maybe because I'm so used to being cheerful. Well, never mind. I don't think it's too hard about it. The poem. The point is, it came out good. You should be proud of it. Aw, thanks. I feel like... I feel like I was meant to express myself this way. Even up helps me understand my own feelings a little bit. Writing is like magic. You got a pretty passionate about this, huh? I hope you keep it up. Yeah! Writing is the best. I'm gonna keep writing until I die. <laughs> Don't get ahead of yourself. Sorry as always had a habit of getting obsessed with something before dropping it no more than I live later. What is this one of those times? Seeing this passion. Seeing the passion now makes it hard for me to be Hermes thing. I'm getting my voice back, I can tell. I'm doing these different character voices. Okay, everyone. I'm not different from what it's about how I think the characters should sound. We're all done reading each other's poems, right? Absolutely get extra plans like so everyone could come and in and find the room. This is about the festival? Well, sort of. Ah, we really have to do something for the festival. Something we could plan it together. Good, in just a few days. We'll just end up embarrassing ourselves instead of getting any new club members. <sighs> That's a concern of mine as well. I don't really do well with last minute preparations. Don't worry so much. We're gonna keep it simple, okay? We won't need much in a few more than a few decorations. Sarah's been working on posters. I'm designing some pamphlets we can give out during the event. Okay, that's great and all. That doesn't tell us what we're actually gonna be doing for them. Ah, sorry, I thought you heard about it already. We're gonna be performing! Performing? P uh Monica. Yeah, we're gonna be having a poetry performance. Each one of us is gonna choose a poem to recite during the event. The cool part is, Rob's gonna let anyone else come up and recite poems too. Sorry, he's putting them all on posters in case anyone wants to prepare ahead of time. <laughs> Sorry, who's been coloring a poster, holds it up for us to see. Are you kidding me, Monica? You did it. You didn't already start putting those posters up, did you? Huh? Well, I did. Do you really think that's bad of an idea? Well, no. It's not a bad idea. I did sign up for this, you know. There's no way I'm gonna be forming in front of a group of people like that. I, I agree with Nasuki. I could never, in my life, do something like that. Imagine it, very six are head in fear. Guys, no, sorry. I understand where they're coming from. I remember that Nasuki and Yuri never shared their poems oh, with anyone just, until just a couple of days ago. It's not that they didn't ask to recite their poems out loud to a whole room full of people. I guess it's kind of overlooked that. So, I'm sorry. But, I still think we should give our best. Really, what's responsible for the fate of this club? If we start an event and each one puts on a good performance, then it will inspire them to do the same. And the more people who perform, the better we'll be able to show everyone what literature is all about. Yeah! It's all about expressing your feelings, being intimate with yourself, finding new horizons, and having fun. That's right! And it's those reasons why we're in this club today. Don't you want to share that with others? To inspire them the same feelings that brought you here in the first place? I know you do. I know we all do. And all it takes to stand in front of us a room for two minutes of signing a poem. I know you can do it. Sick and you're remain silent. Sarah looks worried. I guess that leaves me no choice. I agree. I don't think it's too much to ask. I think that's Sarah and Monica. I've been really trying really hard to get new members. The least we can do is help them out a little bit. Well, maybe, but... It looks like, it looks like Nasuki doesn't have any arguments left. Uh, okay, fine. I guess I'll just have to get over it. Get it over with. All right. Yeah. Thanks, Nasuki. What about you, Yuri? Yuri just actually glances around at everyone with expected faces. <sighs> uh, I guess I don't have a choice. Ah, that's everyone. You're the best, Yuri. This club is seriously going to be the death of me. Oh, gosh. You're fine, Yuri. But anyway... Let's move on to the main event. I want you to choose a poem of yours. We're gonna reach back to find them in front of each other. No way! Monica! 
This is too sudden. Well, if you can't reset your phone in front of the club, I'd expect to do it in front of strangers. Oh no. Don't worry. I'll start off to help everyone feel a little more comfortable. Alright. Can I go next? Uh, of course. Now, let's see. Michael flips through a number of to a specific poem she has in mind first. Then she sings behind the podium. The title of the poem is called The Way They Fly. <laughs> Mana begins to recite her poem. Her clear, confident voice fills the room. More than that, her inflection is pristine. Apparently, the cleaning lady is doing something upstairs. I'm not gonna She knows exactly how to apply emotion to each line. Behind each line, she recites, bringing, new, bringing the words to life. Is this something she's done before, or is it simply? Is she simply a natural? Thanks, Rami. Everyone has their eyes on Monica. Sarah looks amazed. Yuri has a expression, a, 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 intense expression on her face that I don't understand. Finally, Monica finishes the recitation. The four of us applaud. Monica takes breath and smiles. That, that was so good, Monica. <laughs> Thank you very much. I was just going to see a good example. Where are you going next, Yuri? Uh -huh, I'll go next. Oh, Yuri's fired up all of a sudden. Here, clears the sheet of paper between her hands and stands up. Keep her head down, she quickly she walks quickly over to the pool. The poem is called Very Actually Glad She's Each One of Us. You can do it, Yuri. It's it's called After Image of the Christmas Prince and Your Yuri voice shakes as she starts reading the poem. It is cold in this basement. Just a moment ago, she's probably refused herself to read. She probably refused to do this. Why is she suddenly putting in so much effort? As Yuri gets past the first couple of lines, her voice changes. It's almost like what happens when Yuri gets thrown into her books. Proving words she turn the sharp syllables of a foolish, confident woman. The poem is full of twists and turns and its structures that she announces with perfect timing. Must be a rare glimpse of a whirling fire Yuri keeps constantly inside her head. Suddenly, she's finished. Everyone is stunned. Yuri snaps back in reality and glances around as if she's bewildered, even herself. I set the music to the situation. I'm the first one to start applauding. Everyone joins me afterwards and we give Yuri the recognition she deserves. It's not that we didn't want to applaud for her, but we were so caught off guard that we must have forgotten. As we applaud, Yuri holds up the poem to her chest and rushes back to her seat. <laughs> Yuri, that was real good. Thanks for sharing. Looks like Yuri's down for the count. Okay. I guess I'm up next. Sarah helps out of her chair and shows her box to the podium. This one is called My Metal. Uh. <laughs> Sorry, I giggled. <laughs> Sorry. It's a lot harder than I thought. Why should you guys do it so easily? Ah. Try to think of it as you're saying to other people. Imagine you're saying it to yourself like in front of a mirror, or in your own head. Sure, poems so will come out the best that way. I see, I see. Okay then. Sorry begins her poem. Somebody feels like her soft voice was made as a perfect match. The poem is aimlessly serious. serious. It's serene and bittersweet. <laughs> bittersweet, just like she likes it. If I were to read this on paper, I probably wouldn't think much of it. But hearing it come from Sayori in his voice almost gives it a whole new meaning. Uh, maybe this is what Sayori meant when she said she liked my poems. It's like I get to reach more deeply to someone I thought I knew. Boo, boo. Chef finishes and we applaud. I did it! Good job, Sayori. <laughs> you even carry like that. I guess that's a good sign. What does that mean? It came out nicely, Sayori. The atmosphere of the poem fits real nice. It might be better, but it might be that other poems wouldn't work quite as well with that kind of delivery. Hmm? I don't really understand. In other words, I've seen poems of yours, so that sort of gentle delivery wouldn't work so well. They might need a little more force behind them, depending on what you're reading. Oh, I know what you mean. That's well, I've been practicing that kind of thing. Which is embarrassing to do in front of everyone. <laughs> then next time, I'm going to make a pick up a poem that challenges a little bit more. We don't have much time for the festival, you know. Okay. Oh, well, who's next? Asuki. <laughs> don't make me go before Gary. It's not like I compare to you guys anyway. Might as well let Gary load everyone's standards a little before I have to do it. I see the key. It's fine, it's fine. I might as well get it over with. It's not like I have much reflection on to read. I just go with what I wrote for today. I stand up in front of the podium. No! Oh, oof. Everyone has their eyes on me, making me feel terribly awkward. Oh god. <laughs> I recite my poem. Since I'm not exactly confident in my own writing, it's hard to put an energy into it. Despite that, once I finish, I. Once I finish, I receive applause anyway. Sorry, I'm not really good as everyone else. Don't worry about that so much. I think it's less about your abilities and more about your lack of confidence in your writing. No, I pushed settings by accident. Return. I think it's a little... Okay, we already read that. 
That's something that will improve though over time though. Yeah, maybe. Alright then. Oh, okay, so if you push any button besides the click, that shows up. Hmm. Thumbnail material probably. Alright then. That just leaves you, Nosuki. Yeah, yeah. I'm going. This is going to be that gets out of her seat and makes her way to the podium. This one was called. It's called. Why are you all looking at me? Because you're presentating? Hmm. Anyway, the poem's called Jump. No, I'm not gonna. I'm not gonna do it. I had a. I had a joke in my head, but I'm not gonna do it. Nasuki takes a breath. Once she starts reciting the poem, her sour attitude disappears a little. She's still a little un, unenthused. Her poem has a rhythm and a rhyme to it. It's a cookie's trade. Nasuki's trademark style, and it works surprisingly well when spoken out loud. The words feel like they bounce up and down. It's giving new life, as if giving life to the poem. Hence the name Jump. Nasuki finishes and everyone's applause. She hustles back to her seat. That wasn't so bad, was it? Easy for you to say. You better not make me do that again. Ah, uh, well, you at least feel prepared enough to present a poem for other people. I mean, doing it for other people would be way easier. I put on whatever face I want for other people. When it's just my friends, it's just embarrassing. That's a surprise, Nasuki. I think it would be it would be the other way around for me. That's just how it is, so. Well, I guess in that case, you won't have much to worry about for the festival. That said, I want to thank everyone for coming through. Might be hard, but I hope you guys have an idea. <sighs> have an idea of what's what's it like now. Make sure you pick a poem and get enough practice for the festival, okay? I'll be making pamphlets, so I'll let you guys know ahead of time what you'll need to be reciting. Jeez. I should probably find some other poem to recite instead. That's fine too! Doesn't matter to be your own. I'm already pleasantly surprised that you're putting all this effort into the club. It makes you feel real happy. Huh, <laughs> yeah, no problem. Okay, everyone. I think that's about it for today. I know the festival's coming up, and let's try to write poems for tomorrow as well. It's been working out really nice, so I'd like to continue that. I'm sure the festival will finish planning tomorrow, and it will have the weekend to prepare. Cool! Monday's the big day! I can't wait! I can do this. I can do this. Alright. Stand up. At some point, I'll be ready. There's no way I'll be able to find the same enthusiasm as Sarah Mark. Oh, yes, to keep it through. As if you're trying to stick the club, and press the monica. Now, to do my best. Ready to go, Sam? Yep. Look at you, she's always going to go like uh, that. Kind of adorable, isn't it? <laughs> Jeez, guys. I think it's such a big deal. I feel a little nice, though. Well, uh, I'm supposed to respond to that. It's a good character, you have to say it. Whatever, let's go already. I'll come with Sunday once more. You know, some grocery days, a lot of things are going to change. But today starts being a little quiet in each other. Hey, Sarah. Sorry, I was spacing out. Hmm, no wonder. Um, I was thinking about something from earlier. How we get to. I mean, Sarah fumbles with her words. So let's just say that one day, Suki asked you to walk home with her. Huh? What'd you do? What kind of question is that? You're kind of putting me on the spot here. <laughs> Uh, oh, we gotta choose. <sighs> I don't know. Well, la, 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 la. I mean, I mean, I, I would like, I mean, that would be a pretty cool experience to walk home with the city. Uh, I'm gonna go with that. Walking home with the city. That's how I make my heart pound. I mean, I think, I think she'd be afraid if she turned me down. Is this show cute and fun to be around? That has nothing to do with what I just said. <laughs> you admitted it. Jeez, it's not even a point of speculating something that's never gonna happen. Well, maybe. I just like to think about it. It's no longer for you won't need me, you know? Need you? Sorry. I can't figure out why you're seeing things through him. How you're seeing things through him. Sorry. You're so different. No one in the club is a replacement for me. Hmm. If you say so. The conversation trails off and I'm left feeling awkward. What was it? It was kind of a far for trapping me such a weird question. I just can't lie to her. There's just something that makes her happy. I would hate to take away from her. True? That's why I see there's some point to speculate. And again, the festival's only a few days away. Who knows what happened that time? Oh, okay, we should probably save her. Ooh, let's save. Okay, let's go. Let's get this started. Quiet. Fear. Uh, what would be in a secret? No, that's probably. Ah, cereal. Raindrops. 
Oh no, that's Yuri. Anime. Fluffy. Kitten. Kitty. Candy. Uh. So what's no, this? No fireworks. Ah, mouse. I don't know. Actually. Music? Hmm. Oh, this is some joy, not Sayori. Pop. Uh, games. Uh, I don't know. A ribbon. Uh, lipstick. Oh, uh, Sunny. Uh, Doki Doki. Uh, bubbles. Vanilla. Jumpy. Okay, I think we got mostly for next week. So, oh, oh man, I'm the last one here again. Don't worry, I just walked into. It's hard. It's like it's getting harder for me to pick a word for Nasuki. Are you really practice? Can hey, I practice again? Yeah. <laughs> you must really have a lot of determination. Join this club and not picking up piano. Well, maybe I'm. Uh, maybe not determination. Just passion. I heard that the club wouldn't be here if it wasn't for all of you. I'm super happy that you're all willing to help. Help out for the festival too. Ah, I can't wait for the festival. It's gonna be great. Hmm? Aren't you complaining about it just earlier? Just yesterday, Mr. Really? Yeah. I'm not talking about our part of the festival. But it's a whole day of school where you get to play and eat kinds of delicious food. It sounded a bit like a Sayori all of a sudden. Where is Sayori actually? Monica, did they just say fried squid? Squid? What's the first thing to look forward to? Oh, come on. Are you saying you don't like squid? You of all people? Eh? I, I didn't say I don't like it. Besides, what do you mean by you of all people? Because! It's running your name. Monica. Eh? That's not how you say my name at all! Also, that joke makes no sense in translation. Oh, never mind. Let's just focus for our event now. That's the first time I ever seen Monica actually smile. <laughs> fine, fine. Reactions aren't so funny as Yuri Yuri's or Yuri's enemies. Excuse me. Where's my sorry already? Yeah. Where is she? Oh, there you are. Jerry's sitting at the desk in the corner, looking down at nothing. Oh god, she's zoning out again. Oh god, Jerry. Hey, Siri. Put my hand in front of her face. Er, she's a Yuri. Hmm? You're spacing out again. Ah. Hmm, <laughs> sorry. Don't mind me. You can talk to everyone else. Hmm? Is everything alright? Of course. How would it be? It just feels like you're a little off. Sorry for pursuing things. Jeez, you're worried about me. Wait, worry about me. I'm fine, see? Sure, gives me a big smile. Don't let me distract you from your phone or anything else. Well, alright. If you say so. Or I worriedly glance at Sarah before turning back to whatever. The conversation has already dispersed. Whenever went back at their usual activities, you may should ask Monica if she knows anything about Sarah. Since they've been preparing for the festival, they must be spending a lot of time together. I attempted to approach Monica, who's shuffling some papers at her desk. Gary, what's up? Hey, this must sound strange, but have you noticed anything up or say you're really like, like, anything up with her? In what way do you mean? Maybe I'm reading into it a little much, but she seems a bit downcast today. Oh, you think so? I can't say I noticed anything about her. Monica appears to be close friend who was idly driving a rubber eraser across. Up and down her desk. Maybe there's something going on in her mind. I'm surprised I'm not the one asking you, Gary. You certainly know a lot more. Her a lot better than I do. Yeah, but she's never really like this. She's always talked about me. Talked to me about things that bother her. This time, when I asked her, she's really dismissive. Sorry. I know it's not your problem. I just want to ask you if you need anything. Saw I drop it. Saw I, saw I drop it. No, no. It's important for me, too. I mean, I'm also friends with her. And also, I care about the well-being of my club members, you know? My hands are freezing. Maybe I'll try to talk to her myself. Hmm? Are you sure about that? It seems like she wants to be left alone. Are you sure? Maybe she just has a hard time bringing up with a person of interest. Person of interest? What do you mean by that? We're just saying that maybe the one thing I just mind is you, Gary. Me? How on earth would you come to that conclusion? Well, I probably shouldn't say too much, but Sarah talks about you more than anyone else here, you know? Huh? She's been so happy ever since she joined the club. It's like an extra light was turned on in time for What? No way. Series? It's always like that. It's always been full of sunshine. It's not any different now that I it. It's not always different now that it always has been. <laughs> You're so funny, Gary. 
Every time maybe she always sees her so cheerful. Because maybe she because maybe that's how she is when she's around you. Uh I said too much. I'm sorry. What do I do? What do I know anyway? I didn't mean to jump to conclusions, so she just forget what I said. Also I'll try to talk to her. She's trying to think about it for now. Uh alright. Uncle Shaw is meaningful. I know she's trying to forget about it. I already know that I won't be able to get her words out of my head. I can stand up from her desk and walks around to her side of her I watch her near the answer and gently talk to her. But she keeps her voice quiet so I can't hear anything from her. I silence and set myself down. It's so sorry not to worry about me. I know Sarah told me not to worry about her and have fun with everyone else. That's just impossible to do when she's behaving like this. I feel like how much do I care about her that I'm letting this weigh me down so much? Now it feels like I'm the one behaving out of the ordinary. There's nothing I can do besides wait for Monica. Hey, you. Hmm? I look up to see Nasuki next to me. We're just gonna sit there and keep staring at nothing? Isn't there much time, so? Ah, sorry. I didn't mean to make you worry or anything. It's not like I'm worried. It's just. Glance under her side. It's like a volume of manga right now. That's right. I think it just came up for a minute, but you could start now. I won't make it wait any longer. Jeez. Why are you making me feel like a jerk? It's like that's bothering you. You could just tell me to leave you alone, but I will. I mean, it seemed like I didn't feel like talking about it or anything. She practically mumbled that last word. Nah, I'll probably make it seem like a bigger deal than it is. <sighs> I've just been thinking about Sayori lately. Sayori? Thinking about her? Yeah, she seems really down today. But she doesn't want to admit it to me. So I can't help but wonder if something happened to her. Oh, Suki so tells. Well, first off, you shouldn't really work. You should really work on your freezing. But anyway, you're her best friend, right? Yeah, I guess so. Yeah. In that case, I think you should trust her a little more. If she needed you, then you'd be the first person she would go to, right? Well, I guess that's true. I mean, some people just have those days. You, you can't always avoid it. If anything, she probably doesn't want you to worry about her because it's, it's not important. Yeah, that's kind of what she said to me. Maybe it's not right for me to go against her wishes. Exactly. If she needed you to worry about her, then it'd be a lot more obvious. Yeah. I should have thought of it the way from the start. She just feels the book she's holding in her hands. She. She really means a lot to you, doesn't she? Uh. Don't get the wrong idea or anything. We've just been friends for a long time. So you're really be worried about your friends. I mean, you worry about me, so. I was not! Jeez, you're fine. Don't worry, get started already. Yeah, yeah. Oh, silence for- huh? Ooh, time lapse. Okay, everyone. But some time passes. Monica calls out to the club room. Why don't we share our opponents now? Before I know, everything's back to normal. Went to go to retrieve her opponents, and I do the same. I make eye contact with Monica. She smells me. What did you talk about with Sayori? Alright. Uh... I'm gonna keep going. I'm gonna keep going. I'm gonna keep going. Let's see, let's see! You're certainly more enthusiastic today. Of course! You know I like your writing. I'm just surprised. It seems like you had a lot of trouble admitting that before. Well, 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 well of course. I have to put you in your place a bit. It's not like... I mean, it's not like I was shy or anything stupid like that. Or jealous. I really wasn't jealous. Just because you happen to be a writer? That's such a dumb thing to get jealous about. <laughs> Suki. What? You're not very confident about your writing, are you? Hmm? What are you talking about? Your writing's obviously the best. Right? It took a while for me to figure out what I think I finally did. You're not Suki acting so arrogant because she's trying to make up for her insecurities. Oh. If she's acting like she's the best, other people might think that the way too. I don't care if you hate them. Just please tell them I'm the best. I just... I just really need to hear that from someone. I know it sounds stupid. There's a reason I never showed my poems before this. Suki. Because... Because someone who takes you seriously. It's going to show your poems just for people laugh and say, That's so cute. Just like you, Masuki. Sometimes I want to be cute. No one understands that. Oh, she's starting to cry. I just, I just really have a hard time when I write. But still doesn't matter. Emotions are there. I can't even see that. I just want. Suki trails off. Maybe it's because her lips are too I look down. Her fists are clenched really tightly. Hey, Nasuki, if you're not careful, you rip your own pole. I gently grab the pole in my hand to extract your cooler phone. I place it on the desk and let the room because she put it in. Did you don't read it? Before I could pick it up, she extended the pole in front of me. It's not any good. I know you hit my poems, so you don't have to read this one, okay? But I want to read it. But why? Because I like your poems. I really do. Why would I judge you for your style? 
It sounded like my own style is anything crazy. I mean, it's true that the first time I read your poems, I didn't look too much into it. But now I know you better now. It's wrong for you to think that your style is more amateur than yours. Is her? She always means well. Since she gets so focused on simple happiness, she doesn't understand what people really want. Yeah. I guess I didn't really thought about it, how hard it is for you. Yeah, I'm sorry if I was part of the problem. I understand that. You're not just cute, you're a lot more than that. <laughs> Nasuki, you're doing it again. Once again, Nasuki clutches her poem a little too hard. She looks down, hiding her flash. I didn't realize how difficult this was for me. Finally, she forced herself to extend her arm to set her poem on the You can read it. Just turn that way. I want you to look at my face right now. Okay, I will. Because you. Tomorrow will be brighter with me around. But when today is dim, I can, I can only look down. My, my looking is a little more forward because you look at me. When I want to say something, I say with a shout. But my truest feelings never come out. My words are a little less empty because you listen to me. When something is above me, I reach for the stars. When I feel small, I don't get very far. My standing is a little bit taller because you sit with me. I believe in myself with all my heart. What do I do when it's all turned poor? My faith is a little bit stronger because you trust in me. My pen is always pushing, puts my feelings to the test. I'm not the writer by option, but my best is my best. My poems are a little dear because you think of me. Because you, because you. Aww. Thanks, Nasuki. <laughs> Why are you looking at me like that? If you don't like it, then just say it. I won't get mad. No, it's not that I don't like it. It's just a little surprising to me. Or I'm not just you just hearing nice things come from you. Now don't say that, dummy. <laughs> what do you think the point of writing is? Expressing the way you just can't say. It. Yeah, I understand. I'm sorry for miss miss missing the point sometimes. I always mean it. And I never even showed this to me. I liked it. Well, yeah, I'm I'm a pro, so it's like a moment's belief. I think the sound confident like she usually does. Just remember that I can still I can think these things sometimes too. You know, when you're nice to me it's meaningful. <laughs> I'm glad. Since the Nasuki is satisfied, I said to hear my poem back there. As I do sing, the suit takes my hand and pushes them back. Their small soft hands surprise me with their search. I don't want it. Why not? I just don't. Jeez. I realize what Suki's in. Unable to be honest, she's trying to give me a poem in a roundabout. Well, in that case, I'm gonna keep it. Instead of teasing her, she just go along with it. Good. If you didn't, I would. Never mind. Jess, I'm glad you don't want it. Maybe back backpedals her words and leaves it at that. Despite her best efforts, I don't I can see her friendly smiling to herself. That's all for now, son. Go put it away for some season, okay? Ah, uh, yeah. I'll go do that. With that, I return to my seat so I can put in a suit and put one in the Uh, let's change it up. Let's go to Yuri. Oh, she probably doesn't want to talk to me. Yuri doesn't want to... <laughs> she doesn't want to talk to me because she thinks I guess she's... Yuri doesn't want to do two things acts about spending time with me. I guess if she changes her mind, she'll come to me. I should leave her alone. Leave her be now. Oof. Probably should Yuri because she's acting a little... Press right now for some reason. Hmm? Mm, it's nice, I guess. Come on, I can tell you don't like it. Well, you don't need to worry about me and what I do. After all, you wrote this for someone else, didn't you? Probably not, Suki. Hmm? How does she know? I didn't write this for anyone specifically. Maybe. That's not really what I meant, though. But it's okay. You're making new friends, just like I was hoping. That makes me really happy. And you're happy too, right? In this club? Well, of course I am. Good. That's all that matters to me. Thank you, Harry. Sorry. Is there something wrong? Hmm? No, nothing. I'm just a little tired today. <laughs> Alright. Just tell me if you need anything. I will. Don't worry about me, okay? You can go play with everyone else though. If you insist. Yay! I'm gonna make I'm gonna go home a little bit early today. Sorry? Tell Monica I wasn't feeling well, okay? I'll see you tomorrow. Before I can say anything, Sorry truth for walks out of the classroom and to herself. Oh. Alright then. Monica. Did she say anything? Hi, Gary. Have you thought about wanting to submit? Hello. Have you thought about what you want to submit to perform at the festival? Well, being in this club is one thing. Performing in front of a bunch of people. I have to give it some more thought. Okay, no pressure. Whatever you do, I'm sure it's not great. That also makes me really happy to see. <laughs> anyway, let's take a look at today's poem. Sure. And then I can take a look at Sticking with Azuki's style once more, I see. Hmm. You really like
like that suki, don't you? And that's... Oh, come on, Gary. It's awfully suspicious, you know. Spending time with her in the club room every day. Pretending like the... Pretending to like the manga that she's... Hey, pretending? Um, excuse me, but I... Like perfect girls. Thank you very much. And if you don't, then... Screw off. You know how Nasuki is. If I don't indulge her, she'll probably end up hating me. She's a tennis area, so she's probably gonna act like that. No, I think you're misunderstanding, Gary. It's not that Suki just hates anyone and doesn't give her what she wants. She's not a spoiled brat. Yeah, she's assertive, but she's not that selfish. In fact, I think you know who's indulged her as much as you have. That's all. I kinda knew that, but I just don't want to admit it. So just ask one thing of you. Be careful, please. Be careful. Suki's kind of unpredictable. A lot of times she doesn't even know what she wants. After all, she's the youngest one here. She might not know in her own feelings properly. What, I, what I'm saying is, if something bad happens, it could end up dancing the club too. You didn't want that to do, do that to me, right? That's... I'm not sure to respond to Monica. I care about her in the club, so I'm not afraid of bringing that up. Well, you're smart. I'm sure you do the right thing. I like a small suit. Anyway, what did you mean do the right thing? I'll show you what with me, right? Er, alright. The lady who knows everything. No tell tells of the lady who wanders earth. The lady who knows everything. The beautiful lady who found every answer, all meaning, all purpose, and all the so, Here I am, a feather, lost drift in the sky, victim of the current of the wind. Day after day I search, I search for little hope, knowing legends don't exist. But when all else fails me, when all others have turned away, the legend is all that remains. The last star, the last dim star glister, glimmering in the twilight, twi twi twit? Sun, sky, through that word. Till one day, the wind ceased to blow. I fall, I fall, and I fall, and I fall anymore. Gentle as a feather, a dry coil, expressionless. But the hand catches me between the thumb and the forefinger. The hand of a beautiful lady. I look at her eyes if I know into her gaze. The lady knows everything, knows what I'm thinking. But if I could speak, she responds to a hollow, in a hollow voice. I have found every answer. All which has amount to nothing. There is no meaning, there is no purpose. And we seek the only impossible. I am not your legend. The legend does not exist. And with a breath, she blows me a foot and I pick up a gust of wind. You know, I feel like I'm learning and looking for answers. I feel like learning and looking for answers are sort of things that give me life meaning. Like it's too physiological and everything. It's kind of on my mind, so that's why I wrote it. I see. And I really put much in thought into it. Anyway, it's almost paradoxical. Because we have all these answers, wouldn't, we start, wouldn't the world start to lose its meaning? You know? There's one more thing I noticed. It's like everyone in this club before is writing sounds about things that make are more sad than happy. Are, are you surprised? I mean, I don't, if everyone was a king, we wouldn't really have anything to write about. Humans aren't two dimensional creatures. I think you know that better than anyone. You mean one dimensional? <laughs> yeah, that. Anyway, here's Monica referring to the day. Are you trying to share your poem because you're afraid it's not that good? Yes. You're really just starting to get a lukewarm response to something you put much into. You find that people enjoy writing, you share them, it becomes a lot easier. So instead of just telling me that your writing is good or bad or okay or bad, I want to focus on more on everything that went into it and the things you can work for. It's more encouraging that way and it makes you want to continue improving. That looks like having your own literature club, don't you think? That's my advice for today. Thanks for listening. Okay, you three. We're all done sharing points, right? Why don't we start figuring out... Hold on a second. It's just me or did you say something strange now? Hmm? Something did sound a bit unusual. That's right. You didn't even use a catchphrase from just a catchphrase? I don't have a catchphrase. Jeez. Why is the mood so weird today? Like a scary life. Yuri, look, even Yuri is in mood. Uh, staggering air is coming before shadow is something terrible to happen. In your books, maybe. Look, the only thing different is Siri is near. Ah, seems you're right. Sherry's always helped with the light and the mood a bit, doesn't she? It's almost like everyone's bounces to turn off a little when she's not around. Whatever. Where the heck did she run off to anyway? I thought she went to pee. <laughs> now, Suki, please show some decency. Oh, come on! Uh, she was actually wasn't feeling too well when home early. Is that so? I hope she's alright. Seriously? Of all the times not to go home, you pick the day she's not feeling it. So she needs to be all lovey dovey. Ah, uh, no! First off, stop missing her and send my friendship with Sayori. And second, she's kind of been avoiding me, so I didn't want to force it. Oh? That's a curious expression coming from your space of all the people. Calm down, guys. I talked to her earlier and everything is fine. What'd she say? 
anyway, we need to well, just completely negate the question, I see. Jeez. Anyway, we need to figure out the rest of the festival of preparation, so let's decide what everyone will be doing this weekend. I already know what I'm doing. That's right. They're going to be making cupcakes. We might need a lot of them in different flavors. Can you handle that all by yourself, Mitsuki? Challenge accepted. As for myself, I'm going to be printing and assembling all the poetry pamphlets. Sarah will be helping me design them. As for Yuri... Yuri, you can... Uh... uh. Can yeah, we come up with something for Yuri? Oh, I'm useless. No, no. It's not it at all. You're the most talented person here, you know. Now Natsuki's petting to you. Jeez, I can't even... Jeez, even I can tell now. I guess I never gave her enough credit. I can tell things are even harder on you when you like, Uh, that might be the case. But if I can't also be a leader of my own, that won't grow as a person. So Yuri! You have the beautiful hammer. You, must, you have beautiful hammer. Right? So you should make some banners and decorations to upset the atmosphere. Atmosphere. I'm about that. Is she into stuff like that? Like darkness and atmosphere? I love atmosphere. You're especially starting to change that she's doing. Sarah's at her desk, focus, in focus, and starts on to herself. Your mind is already racing, I see. That's great. It'll be a wonderful help here. But anyway, that just leaves you, Gary. The one who truly, who's truly useless. Don't say that. In fact, both of them are a pretty heavy task. But we'd probably go a long way if you give one of them a hand. You can always help me out as well. I really appreciate it. Uh, that's. It's not the chance I spend the week with one of my club members. I'm not sure I'm gonna respond to a suggestion like that. Uh, I suppose it wouldn't mind a bit of help, but you hate me! You hate me, Yuri, honestly. I'm not going with you. Well, if you don't get on a bait, there's always some dirty work. Hey, dirty work? It's not like Monix didn't give me a choice. You should be sitting on your butt anyway. Just a moment, bunch of excuses like that. Um, if I recall in a sec, I mentioned that you would like to handle the bacon on your own. Gary might not even be around. Gary might not be like to be around if you only make me a nuisance. So therefore, you may more sure this is the decorations. Hold on, I never said that. How hard could it be to make a few decorations anyway? Sounds like you're just making excuses for it. But you should buy you say. You'll be extremely ridiculous. Too, let's work! And baking isn't? Just what do you think? Guys, guys, let's settle down for a moment. And I think it's up to Gary to decide who'd like to be with besides. He's really got to change that about me yet, you know? So I'm sure he's interested in it. You literally just said. I I'm surprised as well. Sorry, sorry. I was just saying though. I can't fill my left hand, right hand. Jeez. Can we just settle this already? Yeah. Gary, you're okay with this, right? In the end, it's up to you. Uh, of course. Hmm. Very well. In that case, Aaron looks a bit straight. Of course, it's gonna be. Okay. Uh, this seems like a good spot to end. Okay, guys, so we're gonna end it here. My fingertips are freezing because it's cold in this basement. So, yeah, next episode, we're gonna leave. Just, I already know who I'm gonna pick. It really doesn't depend, but I just feel like this is. Episodes already long, so I might as well end here. Thank you guys for watching. If you're enjoying, make sure to like, comment, and subscribe. And as always, I'll see you guys in the next video. Bye, guys.